uh, we're going to do a repot, a, a, collect, a cutting which we've uh, taken off a plant in the arid house at uh, Winterbourne Gardens here. Um, it was actually, it was touching the ceiling and the glass so that it needed to be cut down. Otherwise you flatten the top of it and then it it's, uh, spoils the growing point. So I'm going to lift this up on its edge now. It's already been uh, uh, dried off at the bottom to make a, a scar and it's, we're going to put it into our pot here which we've filled about half full of soil and tamped it down, okay? Um, my colleague Arthur here will uh, now put some more soil around the base and uh, it'll need some sticks in order to keep it upright because it's quite heavy top here, quite heavy. We can just uh, put a bit of grit in top of there now. Don't cover the flesh of the plant too much with the soil. We put grit on top of it, which is what we've got here. You hold on. Yeah. And I'll put the grit down there. That will help us to steady it in the pot, but not steady enough to keep it from rocking over and falling over in if it gets moved. We're so used to you doing this sort of thing that we don't really need any special gloves on because we're, where there's no sense, there's no feeling. <laughs> With me. <laughs> okay, we'll have to leave it that now. So we'll put some sticks in now in order to uh, just keep it upright while it's uh, going to root. I've already got a bit of string around the top here because when we cut it off, with branches here, this little branch actually fell off a little bit and uh, not fell off but uh, split a little bit so that's to, in order to keep it together to hope it'll just join so that it doesn't lose a limb. So not another, got four nice angles this uh, cutting so it's just ideal for a super architectural plant for somebody to have in their patio or whatever. Now, I'm not going to use that string to hold the sticks because uh, the sticks have gone down to the bottom of the pot and I'm going to put fresh string around. So I'll put some down the bottom just to start with. The spines of the plants here are quite uh, useful for keeping the string in position. Now, I'll do it. Put your finger on there for me, Arthur. Uh, I'll just do a knot in there. That's perfectly okay to keep it uh, together with the with the sticks. Now what we'll do, we'll, we'll just do another one up at this area. Um, yeah, yeah. And not too tightly, but avoiding any pressure anywhere. And with that, you know, a finger again, Arthur, for me, please. There we go. Whoops. Four fingers and thumbs. There we go. I not trapped your finger, Arthur. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's reasonably reasonably uh, safe now. Uh, this staging that we're on can is movable, and so we don't, we won't leave it on here because moving the staging it obviously would shake that, and every time we do it, and probably disturb it whilst it's trying to root. So really, that's ready for rooting now, and um, with this hot weather that we've got now, it should root in more month maybe hopefully and uh, we've done many of these cuttings off this particular plant in the greenhouse in the arid house down the garden and um, they've sold everyone so far in the shop we've got about eight probably yeah about eight of them rooting already and once they're rooted they, they seem to sell quite well in the shop which is grateful uh, somebody gets a nice decent plant and uh, winterborne gardens gets some nice income 